You're watching Paul Court Morning Channel! I'm here in South Texas with my good buddy, Will Fawcett. I met Will in Africa in 2007 on an African safari with Numzan. He was a PH working for Steph Swanepoel, and which he still does to this day. Pretty excited. We just went and pulled the camera on a couple of feeders. We got one that's got some great, great, two very good bucks on it, and a lot of real up-and-comers. So I'm excited about it. I mean, you can see the quality of some of these deer down here. This is a deadhead that they found, and a bunch of shed antlers right here by the camp house. But what a great setup. Looking forward to it. Stay tuned. Hopefully we're gonna have some action here in South Texas, me and my buddy Will. Cactus and rain, there's mud holes. There's two things you don't right? see, Yeah, there's two things you don't see a lot of, huh? It's our first afternoon and we only sit about two hours before our first buck shows up. We are hunting in Texas from a ground blind about 20 yards from a feeder. We've seen plenty of great bucks, but of course, they stay plenty out of bow range. At the end of our sit, just prior to legal shooting hours, this dandy shows up, but only gets to within about 150 yards. Wow, what a great way to start our first day. It's our second afternoon and what a sit. This dandy shows up and gets a pass as we know there are better bucks in the area. And more bucks show up. What a great way to spend the afternoon. Of course, the bigger bucks seem to stay clear of the feeder. We have our fingers crossed. We watch this mature buck come from all the way across the field. We are just praying he gets to within bow range. He ends up working his way to our right, but then turns after a bit and ends up coming right in. My heart is pounding now as he is within bow range. I just need a clear shot. quartering a little bit towards me. It looked good. We looked at the shot, but because it was quartering to me, we just want to go over and see what kind of blood we have before it gets too dark. We're probably going to back out, but if it's bleeding real good up here, then we may change our mind, but we'll just go check out what we got. Let's give a deer, Paul. <laughs> so, we tracked him 15 yards to the edge of the bush, and we knew we thought it was a little back with the angle. We weren't super comfortable with it. Went back, put the put the video on the computer, reviewed the footage. Thought it was a little better than we thought, so we thought we'd just come take a peek tonight instead of leaving it till morning like we planned. And uh, 
sure enough, he only went 40 yards. Not a lot of blood, but there he was piled up in 40 yards. And believe it or not, within a couple hours, the coyotes had already got to him. Uh, but hey, we got the buck, and he's a beauty. Got this bad boy last night. Hit him a little bit, not at the best angle. So we gave it about five hours. We went and looked last night, found him. He only went about 40 yards. But believe it or not, the coyotes already got into him. We threw him in the cooler overnight, wanted to get some nice daytime pictures. Then it's the next morning and I dreamed of shooting a South Texas deer and having cactuses in the background. I love the backdrop and I love my buck. Looking forward to coming and hunting with Will Fawcett again here in South Texas. Thanks so much. Beautiful buck, great day. Gotta head north now. Get home before Christmas, buddy.